It wasn't just the humans getting in on the fun late last night for Halloween. Many of our pets were positively awesome in their costumes. That's our focus of our Reasons to Smile segment. And Ryan is joining us live from the digital studio. I love all these pictures, Ryan. Mindy, when I look at these dogs and even the cats, I want to be like, come here. I know, just come here, let me get your face. Just want to eat your face. Yeah, put you in a bowl and scoop you right up. Hey, so this morning right now on this Monday, it's our Reasons to Smile Halloween edition. Let me tell you, so many families were out and about last night doing their thing, but also, yeah, our fur babies. Take a look. So many of you, more than 1,400 pictures, a mix of photos and videos came into my Facebook pages yesterday. And let me tell you, the pets, they really delivered a frightfully fun time. And Melinda, are you ready to see this dog? gone scuba oh diving. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I haven't ever seen that one before. I mean, I'm here for it. I got this text message in moments ago. This is literally the flippers, the tanks. This dog, um, I don't know, this dog was really rocking it yesterday. Here's a great one, Mindy. This, this is Spider Pup. Oh, Spider Pup. He could walk on the ceiling. And wait, it gets better because some of these animals are like, are you serious? You're making me wear this costume. Here's a great one. This is Macho the Chihuahua, and I believe uh, his other fur baby, Hazel the Poodle, they were decked out, Mindy, as Fishermen. Don't you love their oh little vest? Oh my gosh, great combination <laughs> costume. The hats, everything. I am here for it. Here's another great one. This is Beast, a teacup Yorkie. What a name for a teacup Yorkie, right, Melinda? Oh, and it's a baby shark. Yeah, <laughs> little baby shark. And apparently, according to uh, Beast's family members, this little creature thinks she's a Rottweiler. So, good times. I love this one from Natasha. This is Natasha and her service pup and best friend, Miss Montana. Mindy, the pair decked out as witches. They are. It's like a whole coven right there. Yeah, thanks to Natasha from Blakely for sharing that shot. Here's a cute one, too. Cheryl and the cat. Sammy is a skunk. You can see her dog on the left. And on the right, little brother Oscar, the kitty, naturally looks like one. They're from Sailorsburg. Oh, they're twinsies. I love it. I love it. Here's a great one. This cat is like, get this thing off my head. This is Libby dresses the dragon, the cat. She's from drums. Yeah, she looks a little angry, doesn't she? Yeah, and I actually, if you look closely at the photo, her eyes match her little costume. That's so cute. Another fave, Melinda. Oh, yes, a Maine Coon cat. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Thanks to Joseph for sharing this shot of uh, a cute little chef in the kitchen. And Helen shared this throwback photo. I believe this was Buddy from a previous year who uh, crossed over to the Rainbow Bridge. So a lot of families looking back on some of their fond memories with oh, their that's uh, sweet. fur babies. Really adorable. From Melissa and Buddy and Tyler waiting for trick-or-treaters in Penn Forest Township. You know, as I said, the, the animals were very busy last night. Our frightfully fun fur babies. Even the horses got in on the fun. And Mindy, I have to point out, not all of the pets, especially the pooches, were fans of their costumes. Take a look at this. Give me that. Giselle. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Tina for sharing this. This is Giselle, Mindy, tearing apart her costume. She was she was not a fan. You know, she just wasn't into the vibe, you know? Yeah, she was not really feeling it. Here's another great one. My fur baby puppy chief. Uh, this is the grand fur baby. Can you see this golden doodle shaking like a machine? And that little cowboy on the back. So cute. Thanks to Marcy for sharing this shot. Look at all these pups, Mindy. They are ready to go on Halloween. They are just so cute. I love all the creative costumes. Adorable. And it's still to come here on Newswatch 16 this morning at 6.40 a.m. Much, much more of the content you shared with me ahead at 6.40 this morning. Some of the creepy costumes, the cool costumes. And Mindy, wait until you see some of the surprises some young kids got from Michael Myers in various neighborhoods across Northeastern and Central oh PA. Oh dear, they may be thinking about that and their nightmares a to come. A whole lot of Michael Myers <laughs> coming up at 6.40. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. Now we've got Valerie.